Kazi, thank you. Thanks very much. What's your name? Um, I don't have time. <laughs> I, uh, I should tell you earlier that I am, I, I was born in Egypt, that's I always feel obliged to tell an audience, I don't know why, but I was born in Egypt and uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are surprised that I do comedy, they say, "Why well, you come from Egypt and you do comedy, that's unusual. I don't know, I mean, I can understand that because Arabs are not really well known for their sense of humour. <laughs> But they are funny people. They're very gentle, law-abiding people. It's only a handful of idiots that ruin it for everyone else. You've seen these idiots who just cannot wait to get to Allah. I must die in the name of Allah, Muhammad Ali Khan. You can't talk sense to someone like that. The thing is, right? Wait, are there any Islamic extremists in tonight? Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> you don't know. They could be on their way to blow up a bridge or an embassy or something and suddenly one of them says, why don't we stop off and watch the comedy gala? <laughs> For fun and laughter. Ha ha ha! Probably up there. Probably up there looking at me going, yeah, this is very funny. <laughs> but now you must die. <laughs> there is no, you cannot negotiate with someone like that. But uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a terrible couple of years. A few years actually. For every race on the planet, not just Arabs. Maybe not the Eskimos, fuck them. <laughs> what have they done? Nothing. Fuck the Eskimos. Are there any Eskimos in? <laughs> that would just top my night off. Because you don't know. <laughs> no, it's, there's something about this country. When people come to this country, they just feel like they don't give a shit about anything anymore, do they? They don't. That's the beauty of this. I think this is the best country in the world because no one gives a shit. We could never have a civil war in Australia, could we? Because no one gives a shit. You ask a bunch of typical Aussie blokes, you guys want to kill some people, we just got a war started in Darwin. They go, mate, I'd love to, but you know, the grand final's on tonight. <laughs> we could never have. <laughs> we, could, we could never have a civil war or a coup or an uprising or any of those things that happen on SBS News. <laughs> Man, they don't muck around on SBS News. That's serious shit. <laughs> you, you don't get a dog on a surfboard at the end of SBS News. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's more, it's more like, we now leave you with footage of people burning. <laughs> Good night. I just, you know, you, you read some really strange things. That I read the other day, they're, they're, just, uh, they're breathing pigs in England, especially so they can kill them, remove their hearts and implant them into people with bad hearts. Did you, anyone read this? I felt really sorry for the pigs at first, and then I thought, no, nah, stuff the pigs. Stuff them. It was the pigs that caused the heart problems in the first place. <laughs> with their fried bacon and pork chops. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great night. See you. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, she is her own one-woman sitcom. She is...